और अवर नेक्स्ट आस्पेक्ट इज अबाउट द स्क्वायर रूट्स इन आर टू अंडरस्टैंड द स्क्वायर रूट वेरी सिंपल द डेफिनेशन ऑफ स्क्वायर रूट मीन्स वॉट द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ ए नंबर फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए इज दैट नंबर विच वेन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई इट सेल्फ गिवस ए इट मीन्स दैट आई विल गिव एग्जाम्पल हियर फॉर एग्जाम्पल ओके स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर इज देर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर यू नो यू कैन इजिली टेल दैट फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर फोर अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस डेफिनेशन इंस्टेड ऑफ ए आई विल पुट इ फोर ए फोर इज द that number that number which when multiplied which when multiplied by itself which when multiplied by itself gives 4 this will gives 4 okay instead of a Okay. What is that number actually? That is two. Answer is two. When two is multiplied by itself, it gives four. See, that is a two. Therefore, two is a square root of two. Square root of four. Okay, square root of four. But Can you say? We can also say minus two into minus two also gives four. Therefore, minus two is also square root. But we can see is also square root. But we consider positive. See, we will be consider will be taken positive square root. not negative this is very important can understand this is the definition of square root okay this is all about the square root understand okay then we move on to the uh, properties of a square root now to understand properties of a square root you should know the properties of perfect square root. the first the one important property is that any perfect square ending with sorry sorry any number is ending with <coughs> if any if a number ends with unit digit like 2 3 or 7 or 8 it will never be a perfect square any number i can say a positive number end with i can say end with these 2 3 7 8 it is it is never a perfect square you can you can take any example tell Are thirteen? You can take seventeen. You can take anything. It never and it is never become a perfect square. Okay. Why this? I am telling these things. Square root of perfect square always gives a natural number. Try to understand. Square root of perfect square always gives a natural number. natural number okay the per square root of perfect square always gives a natural number means here once the unit digit ends with 
7 or 8 it does not a perfect square therefore the square root of these numbers ending with 2 3 7 definitely does not have a square root in n Okay, it means that it in other ways the square root of perfect square is equal to natural number. But the square root of non perfect square is equal to non natural numbers. We are going to get, get, get non natural numbers. Okay, therefore the number ends with these 2, 3, 7, 8. Never be a perfect square, means its square roots also never never natural numbers never become natural number. this is the meaning of uh, the unit digits of a number is 2 3 7 or 8 it does not have a square root in natural numbers okay next property if number ends in odd number of zeros then if number ends in all number of zeros then it does not have a square root in natural numbers definitely if number ends with for example you can take example 10 you can take you can take 30 you can take you can take 40 all number of zeros if you take square root of these things we know you never get um, square root in natural numbers okay but in the other way if the square number see square number is followed by even number of zeros then it has a square root then it has a square root in natural number and also in which number of zeros is half of the number of zeros in, means if i take see for example i will take a square number okay i will take a square number that is 100 i will going to take it is a square number when if i take the square root of this 100 this becomes 10 this uh, square root of what is the number of zeros here 2 number of zeros is 1 see the same thing they told even even the number of zeros it has uh, the, the the if a square number is followed by even number of zeros even number of zeros two has okay it has a square root in which it has a square root it's what 10 is a square root in which the number of zeros is half the number of zeros the whatever the number of zeros in number of zeros 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 in 10 is half of 100 ok 100 here 2 half of 100 means what half of zeros in 100 half of zeros in 100 ok like this we can we can easily understand the next property the i can say okay okay uh, next property third property that was one uh, what is actually third property uh, 100 okay we have completed uh, two properties we can come into the third property the square root of even square numbers is even definitely the square root of odd square number is odd for example you can take square root of 36 is a 36 is a even square number the square root of these things also even 9 9 is a odd square number if square root of stick you can get odd this is the example you can by example you can easily understand then if the number has a square root in n if a number has a square root in natural number then its unit digit must be zero mean very simple i already told you this when a number has square root in 
uh, in natural numbers it should be a perfect square try to understand very simple if a number has a square root in natural numbers means what it should be a perfect square only if number for example for example i can say 36 square root of 36 is 6 means what 36 is a perfect square 36 is a it belongs to n isn't it square root of 36 is 6 which is belongs to n therefore i can say 36 is a perfect square perfect square okay see whatever the square root you get its unit digits must be 0 1 or 4 5 6 9 you can take an example for example 36 what is the unit digit is 6 again 6 is there you can take even any uh, perfect square for that matter i can take 81 if you take 81 is a perfect square therefore you can get 9 See here, nine also comes here. You can take uh, one six twenty five. You can take square root of six twenty five again. A twenty five. The unit digit ends with five. You can take square root of hundred. It becomes ten. Unit digit ends with zero. You can take sixteen. Square root of sixteen is four. the unit digit ends with 4 like that it is there okay the next property is negative numbers have no square roots in the system of rational numbers okay these things are no negative numbers so if i say square root of minus 4 it is it does not it does not gives any meaning the negative number have no square root try to understand it is wrong actually square root of negative number has no square root in the system of rational numbers this is very important because in the system of rational numbers the negative the square root of negative number is does not hold but in irrational number irrational number there is a rule in higher class we are going to study it uh, square root of minus 9 but in the system of rational numbers the negative numbers have no square roots please this is very important rational numbers which are expressed in terms of p by q where p and q are the integers those things we know the next uh, last sixth property that is the sum of first n odd natural number is n square very interesting sixth property for example sum of i can take sum of first three odd natural numbers Three odd natural numbers. I can take what? That is one plus three plus five. That is equal to nine. That can be written as three square. Like this. This is the things. This where this uh, property will going to use to find out the square root of a perfect square. Try to understand. this property we are going to use this property is used to find to find square root of square root of perfect perfect square okay okay i'll do how we going to use it we can study in next class but the property what is okay this is the property actually 